Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to the lab vlogs. So, what has been happening with me? I was very sick for about a week. I had a horrible cold slash flu situation. It wasn't corona because I did get a PCR test and it did come back negative, but I was absolutely floored by this cold. I'm still coughing now after having it about two weeks ago. It ended up just taking a week off of work and tried to recover. Leo, say hello. Say hello. <coughs> oh, oh yes, I'm okay. I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. Hello guys, it's Monday. I'm not even sure if I will use this footage, but excuse the mess of my face. I feel like a garbage. And Leo wants to get in the video. Say hello. I feel like poo. I was supposed to be going to the lab today. I'm supposed to be working and I haven't done anything. I haven't went to the lab. I stayed in bed really late. You can maybe notice by my voice. I have an incredibly sore throat. My head is like boom, boom, boom. I did go for a test this morning. I'm not going to say the C word. Um, because I don't really feel comfortable going back to the lab. Feeling like this in case it is the C word. Um, yeah. feel like... <laughs> During that week I also had a conference and I won another prize which I am honestly shocked about. I won a prize for a poster that I made for the conference which is amazing of course it's great to win prizes. I just did not expect to win anything from my poster so that was really cool. What else has been going on? So since I've been back in the lab I have started writing a research paper so our new postdoc who is actually our old postdoc who's come back, I mentioned the situation briefly in my last lab vlog. I was speaking to Sylvia and I said to her that I want to write a research paper but I don't really have results just now which are publishable and she just suggested that I write something called a perspective paper. So a perspective paper Paper is basically when you do a mini review of what's going on in your field and you add your perspective of why you think it's beneficial to help tackle big research problems essentially. So that's what I'm doing. I'm currently writing an abstract and uh, figuring out the logistics of it all, what journal to submit to, and I've started writing the paper as well, which is really, really cool and exciting. So that'll be nice if that gets accepted to have my first research paper from my PhD under my belt. Also, I am currently applying for funding for a postdoc position. So I'm supposed to finish my PhD in November next year, but I'm probably going to extend a few months for writing up. And I'm trying to consider my options for when I finish my PhD. I would like to stay in academia and a postdoc seems like a good way to start, but you need to get funding in order to do a postdoc. So that's what I'm trying to navigate at the moment. I'm trying to find funding to do a postdoc position. So I had a meeting about that this morning. And sorry, if you don't know what postdoc is, it's basically a research role where you're doing uh, research after your PhD degree. So that's why it's called postdoc, postdoctorate degree position. And I want to basically continue the kind of research that I'm doing just now, but explore different avenues of the anti-fouling research, which is really, really exciting. And the funding process seems to be quite lengthy and quite uh, challenging. So I'm learning a lot about funding applications at the moment. And let's hope that something gets accepted. I am currently supervising an undergraduate student and I have another under undergraduate student that's coming at the beginning of November. So I'm very busy with that. I also am going to start demonstrating in the undergraduate labs again, which will start in a couple of weeks. So it's safe to say that with the funding application, writing the paper, doing my lab work, supervising undergraduate students in the lab, demonstrating, I'm very, very busy. <laughs> So I'm going to go and have lunch now and then I'm going to meet my undergraduate student in the lab and I will chat to you all later on. Hello, hello, hello. We are starting today from the microbiology lab. I made some new bacterial plates yesterday because the ones that I was using before are over expired, let's say. So let's have a look and see if they have grown in the incubator. Oh. Right, let's have a look. A little plates at the bottom here. Okay, something has grown. That is good news. Something strange is happening with one of my cultures. As you can see, it's only growing tiny, tiny, tiny. So I need to figure out what the heck is going on there. 
a little bit annoying. Today is not going well. Nothing is working out. All of my experiments are failing. I have had to change my plans. It is quarter to 12. I have had to change my plans for the whole day. I am trying my best to stay calm and to try and not feel overwhelmed and to try and take some deep breaths. But I don't know if it's working. <laughs> I'll tune in with you guys later on and hopefully I am in a better headspace by then. It's a bit later in the day now and I thought I'd just do a little check-in. It is quarter to five. Today has been crazy busy. Crazy, crazy busy. So I have just been plating up some... No, I haven't. No, I haven't. That's not what I've been doing. I just made some overnight cultures to put in the incubator and hopefully they will grow because remember earlier I told you that my plates were a bit dodgy. So I'm using some plates I prepared next week and the new plates and I'm doing a bit of comparison. I have put my bacteria into some media. I'm going to put them in the incubator and hopefully they will grow nicely to be plated up tomorrow. I still have some stuff I need to do before I leave. These nine hour days are becoming more and more common. <gasps> My to-do list is just never ending. Anyway, I'm gonna go crack on, I'm gonna make those solutions to do the assay tomorrow, and then I'm going home. Speak tomorrow. Happy Wednesday. Oh, the leaves are starting to fall off of the buildings. It looks deceivingly nice today because it's a blue sky. However, it is like three degrees and my hands feel like they're going to fall off. I am just going to grab a coffee to make me warm and then I'm going to head into the lab. So I'll speak to you guys once I get there. Let's check my bacteria. Okay, they're still standing up right, so that's good news. But are they cloudy? That is the question. They've all grown pretty nicely, so that's good. Got nice cloudy solutions. Later on, I'm going to make glycerol stocks, which is basically the culture and some glycerol, and we store them in the minus 80 degree freezer. For now, I'm going to drink my coffee that I just got. I'm going to plan out my day, and then we'll get stuck into some bioassay work. So then I sat down and I had some breakfast, I had my coffee and a little nut bar and then I sent off an abstract for an article that I want to publish in a journal. It is 8.35 and I am just going to go over my presentation for tomorrow. It is the same presentation I did at that conference, the one I won the prize for in the last couple of months. But we have group meeting tomorrow and it's my turn to present an update of my research. So I am taking the lazy option and I am just presenting this presentation again. I don't think any of my colleagues were at the conference anyway, so it will be new for everyone. But I've just not had time this week to prepare a new presentation, so I am reusing an old one. Let's call it recycling. <laughs> okay, so I ran through my presentation once and I know what I'm going to say tomorrow, so that's fine. But now I've got a second lease of life and I'm going to try and write some of my paper. Let's see how long this lasts. I might crash in like 10 minutes and then decide <laughs> that I want to just watch TV or something. Here goes nothing. So this is our new science teaching building for the undergraduate students. Um, I decided to turn the volume off because it was incredibly windy, but I just wanted to show you all the fantastic new building that's getting built at the University of Aberdeen. When you're the first one in and it's creepy AF. Yeah. I thought the lights came on automatically. Aha. Et voila. Okay. Voila. Food for the day. Oops and my bag. Okay, let's get this day started. Hello, good morning, happy Friday, finally. Um, I feel like I haven't showed you guys much of what's been going on in the lab this week. Um, I've been really, really busy, as you might have been able to tell from the chaotic clips that I have taken for the rest of the week. <laughs> Um, basically, I've been working on trying to purify some of my samples using the HPLC and the MPLC. So I'm going to show you some of my data and kind of try and talk you through the process of what I was doing with my sample. 
Okay, so I will try not to be too technical with my explanations, but basically I injected one of my samples into the HPLC to see how many peaks I have and how long it takes for all of my peaks to come out. So if you see along the bottom here, this shows you the minutes and all of these things here are my peaks, which should equate to individual compounds that I've managed to separate within my sample. However, as you can see here, my runtime is pretty long. It's finishing about 40 minutes, which means a lot of solvent needs to be used to do the run. As I inject more volume of my sample, as you would expect, the peaks get bigger because there is more of each of the compounds being injected into the system. However, these peaks here become closer together and the separation becomes a lot more poor than if I show you here where I injected less volume into the system. So bear in mind, on Monday when I was doing this, trying to develop the method to separate my compounds, I was very, very tired. I had been to a wedding over the weekend and had to drive from the middle of England back up to Scotland. So let's say that my brain wasn't on top form. So on Wednesday, when I came back in and I had the HPLC booked again, I was starting to purify my sample, trying to collect the peaks and I was thinking, this is going to take such a long time. My run is so long. I have so many peaks. My sample is not simple enough to start purifying. Usually before I get to this stage, I would do an extra stage of purification. But for some reason on Monday, because I was tired, my brain said, no, let's just go straight to purifying on the HPLC. Wrong. So I wasted a bit of time on Wednesday. And that's when you would have seen that I was like stressing out saying, oh, my plans have changed now. That's because of past Jessica being an idiot. Anyway, Yesterday, I did an extra stage of purification to try and simplify this fraction a bit more before moving to the HPLC, which I will do next week. At half past eight, it's currently 10 past eight, I have mass spec training. I'm getting trained how to use this mass spectrometer. So I will introduce you to Federica when she comes in. She is one of my lab colleagues and she is going to be training me and some others on the mass spec today. Today should be good. I've got the Friday feeling going on. I'm presenting this afternoon at group meeting and I'm doing some experiments during the day, but it's going to be relatively chill. Anyway, I'm going to stop blabbering and I'm going to get on and try and write some of my paper before our training at half past eight this morning. <laughs>